Right guys, how you doing? At the allotment, update on how I'm getting on. Bank holiday, Sunday, May bank holiday. Uh, I've got one more day off tomorrow to do a bit more. I'm gonna show you how I've got on today. Uh, just arrived at my plot, I'll swing you around. Right, looking back from where I came, I broke two taps off of two water butts. James broke one, knocked it off when he was trying to fill it. This one's leaking, it just needs tightening up and some PTFE tape. So I did that today. I have a quick look at the major transformations. I've moved these two water butts and repaired both of them. Had to do a repair, knocked it over, um, broke it, repaired it with some uh, glue and stuff. I've put my fencing up so I've got to step over. Oh, hold on. Right, so the water butts were on the patio area and I kept knocking the taps. So this is the patio area that I've built. I, need to get, I still need to get and finish the roof of the shed, but I haven't done that because I've been busy. All my plants are ready to go in. And I'm like, whoa, I'm over the moon. I've got all 10 bags of spuds in. All 10 bags. I think we ended up with 13 rows. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, twelve. Yeah, thirteen rows. I couldn't get them. Couldn't quite get them all in. So I've been here all more, more or less all day today, and I was here more or less all day Saturday, all day Saturday, all day Sunday. So that's for my cabbages to go in. That's um, insect proof. It's the only thing I could think to make with what I had. So I did that today. I was over here about I don't know one o'clock started I couldn't get all the spuds in so there's another row of uh, spuds down there it was raining earlier but it turned into well it was trying to rain you know what the weather's been like awful on and off um, this netted area conflicts with where I've got my runner beans so I'm probably going to put some uh, courgettes or cucumbers or something in this area because it's really protected by the neighbors um, netting so i built all this today as well so that's for my runner beans i better stand back so you can see i've got given some mint so i've just bunged it in there there mint mint in the trays i'm not sure what the rhubarb's doing not very well so i've got that's a water butt that's full of water so that's where my runner beans are going. That plot there of soil um, is going to be carrots. Got three packets of carrots, beetroot, um, whatever else there is. And in the netted area is going to be white cabbage, red cabbage, and Brussels sprouts. Uh, that's the plan. And then obviously that's all potatoes, and I've got the sunflowers to come over as well they're going to go along do 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 along there i think all the way along the back edge if i get round to it it's all big plans um yeah so problems the shed is giving me problems i'm really tall and it keeps whacking i keep whacking my head on this bit here so i don't like that um definitely want to get a bigger shed uh, the patio area we kept knocking the taps off the barrels because um, they were on the patio so I've moved them away so I can sit there and have a cup of tea so um, got two barrels there I'm gonna put two more barrels in that gateway there so there'll be four barrels I reckon along there and then I've got the compost so if I put next, last year's video up when I got the plot <laughs> the difference is considerable isn't it I think um, and I think I might put mulch all down along the path I'm not sure yet because I haven't edged it but I quite like the look of the mulch so we go Right guys, so if you like my videos and you're not subscribed, how about thinking about subscribing to the channel? It'll help me out a lot. Thanks very much for giving us a thumbs up. Cheers.
around the back of the allotment, around the back of the sheds. That's my view, not too bad is it? Right guys, I'm going home, it's 20 to 8pm. Think I've had enough. See you later.